Hey guys, it's me, Gab, and I'm back with another video like I said I would be. Okay, so um, before I get into anything, because I have no idea where this video is going, make sure that you subscribe, like, comment, all of those things, share it with your friends, tell them that I'm back on YouTube, because honestly, honestly, like, I just feel like it's literally so hard to keep up with this thing, like, People who do YouTube and it's not their main like anything, it's just something they do for fun. It is literally so hard to stay consistent because life just happens all the time. And I just feel like I cannot even fathom putting my mind into making a video. And it's not even the making the video that's the hard part for me or the annoying part or the complicated, it's the editing and the everything into that like it just takes too much out of me when i'm in a high stress life situation and i just can't do it so um i am trying to get back into this as my life is trying to get itself back together because it really spun out of <laughs> and when i am past the trauma from what i've been through the last few months i will post a video about what has been going on but it's starting to calm down from that and I am trying to come back you know YouTube is something that I like doing you know it started from me making Navy videos and I will still continue to make those but I want to make it a kind of a well-rounded video channel why did I say video anywho do you just ever just wake up one day and you're just like, what is actually going on? Like there's just so many different things happening in life. Too many crazy things, mass shooting after shooting and just craziness in the politics, which my employer will not allow me to speak my views on, so I won't. And just everyday life is just annoying. And one day you just wake up and you're just like, what is even all of this for? What do I get from it, you know? Like, life is just so stressful for no reason at all. No reason at all. For us to live, to die, why do we have to go through these things? Why? Why do I have to be stressed? I mean, do you feel me? Do you feel me? But anywho, YouTube is somebody walked past my window and I got scared. YouTube is one of those places that you start off watching hair and makeup videos and then somehow a couple hours later, you know, you're watching. I realized I wasn't trans after transitioning. Like you just don't understand how you got there, but you got there somehow. And I don't know who's running YouTube's suggested office there but anywho i'm going to talk about the time that i worked at amazon okay so this was around the summer of 2015 i was a few months away from shipping out for boot camp so now we're at um amazon and i really just got it because i knew a couple people that worked there and they said the money was good so i said okay cool well honestly like amazon it's not the worst job, but it is sure not the best job. So I think I was getting paid $11.50 an hour and you work four days in a row, 10 hour shifts. And then you had three days off unless you had like, unless they told you you had mandatory overtime. So like you either have mandatory overtime or there's voluntary overtime. So when you have man any type of overtime, you would work on one of your off days and it would be for a time and a half. So, you know, you're making $17 an hour, like it's all good. Well, my job was called, like the position was called a picker. Um, I think they should have had a different name, but that's beyond me. Um, and what you do is at the beginning of your shift, you get a cart and you put two totes on it and you have this little scanner thing. And basically what comes up on the scanner are people's orders and it tells you exactly where to find, like it tells you the aisle. So the way that the building was set up, 
huge warehouse. If you've seen it, you, like you've seen an Amazon warehouse before, I'm sure. Um, it's a big warehouse and on both sides of the warehouse are like the aisles that we would, you know, pick the things from. In the middle was like your break room, your HR, little offices in the middle. And then in the back middle, like if you came in, you walked towards the back, you would see the packing area. And then you'd see where like the trucks pull up at where they load the trucks. Like the little scanner, it tells you where the item is. So it'll tell you what aisle, what shelf. And then you, it's basically like these little cube things that you pull out and you search through or maybe on a shelf or whatever. So you do that. I work the I work the six to or six maybe six or six thirty, maybe it was six to like five in the morning shift. It was literally the work. It was thirty minutes from me, literally off the same exit as my mom's job, and we only had one car. And so um, she would go to work, come home. I would literally be there for maybe twenty minutes, and then I would leave, drive back. 30 minutes out to where she just came from work come back and we switch out just like that so um my mom actually hates how much how many miles that put on the car like this it's really ridiculous but anywho we only have one car so you know whatever you only get two 15 minute breaks and i believe a 30 minute lunch maybe an hour i want to say it was 30 minutes though but maybe it was an hour i can't really remember but i do remember the 15 minute breaks and let me tell you about those it's not like it's a very it's not even 15 minutes to be honest with you so nine o'clock will be the first time we have a break so you put down your scanner most people will hide there so that way it could just pick up where they left off because sometimes like if you put your scanner back like there, look, there was like an area where you put them back you would come back and you pick up another one and it would like if you were on floor three then you'd start back at floor one or floor two like you just want to like People would just save there so that way they would still be in the same area. And then the walk from the aisles to the break room was basically two minutes. And then, but they wanted you back by 9.15. And when I say back by 9.15, they want you back with the cart and your first item already scanned by 9.15. So there are literally hundreds of us there. Oh, I don't know how many were there. It seemed like, I don't know how many were there at, at one time, but it doesn't matter. I don't even get a full 15 because if you want me to be back and already scanned in by 15, like, what are you saying? Okay, so whatever. And then, you know, you have your lunch in the middle of the night. It was literally the worst because I was supposed to be getting ready to ship out for boot camp. And I was supposed to be trying to like get into this regimen where I was working out and eating right. But it's really hard to do that when you're eating in the middle of the night at like midnight. And sometimes like i didn't feel like making lunch and the only food they would have there like they would have food trucks but it was obviously unhealthy so it was it was like whatever working out i was doing it was barely like and i would come home so tired like i would come home and pass out and then i would wake up like a couple hours before it was time for me to go back so it was like i literally had no time to do anything so it was crazy and like you had to get these crazy numbers like they wanted you to have scanned so many different things and so like once you scanned and filled up two crates then you take it to this like conveyor belt thing which would take it down to packing um and they would review like you would just like check your numbers every time like you go on break or whatever just so you can see where you're at and like amazon would literally fire you for like the most frivolous things like you know not hitting that number or you just came back from your break maybe like a minute later two minutes late like they will make a big deal like they were ready to just fight like they hired anybody but they were ready to fire anybody at the same time and um it was just so annoying because oh and then also let me not forget pallet land so back where the trucks are there's like all the bigger item type of things like and that you need to get like the big like push cart type of thing and get the actual totes like you would have 12 totes and like this is where you would probably get like this is where people were ordering in bulk so you may have be getting like multiple skillets or multiple just big items that you'd have to load on it and sometimes like you may be there for be you may be in that area for a majority of your shift and obviously like some of those things are bigger so it's harder to maneuver into these crates and so you're not going to get as many items as uh somebody who's just in the regular aisles 
and they will still like call you like you'll be in the middle of scanning and they will call you to the supervisors whatever and they'll talk to you about the numbers and it's just like i'm in pallet land what do you expect what do you expect i'm hauling cast iron skillets and whatever else into these totes i can't get a thousand items in however many time you want like what are you talking about so and then also you talking to me in the middle of my scanning period i'm still not getting anything so what what do you what 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 so it was just like it just started getting to a point where it's like is it really worth it like i would be sleepwalking sleepwalking so i had a couple of friends there that i made and they knew <laughs> they just knew like when we would see each other at break like we'd just be you know chilling in the lunchroom i would look so tired like for me like anyone who knows me um at a certain oh my god did y'all hear that after a certain time like 8 p.m 9 p.m like my eyes will be bloodshot even if i had just came out of hibernation my eyes are still gonna get bloodshot like i am just off of every drug imaginable like i just don't know why my i don't know why but so i but when i was at amazon i knew it was because i was tired and they would just make fun of me and everything so but they knew i was um they knew i would be sleepwalking so we were in the same area and i'm telling you like one time i slept walk so bad so i remembered that i had two i had one item in my cart and then next thing i knew i guess i must have been sleep then when i came back to realization i realized i had two extra items that i do not remember picking up or scanning or anything when did i ever pick up these other two things but then like when i realized that i was already putting the cart like the the crate onto the conveyor belt but it was already too late like it's already gone so i you know called down the packing and i was like hey you guys are getting some things that don't even belong down there just so you know i don't know how it happened it just whatever but like yeah sometimes i would be so tired I'd be like okay i just gotta leave so I would leave at lunchtime or maybe a little bit after lunchtime because it really hit me at the three to four. Like, you know, those last couple hours of work, it's just the hardest and, but whatever. So I would leave and I kid you not, like I was tired with a T. As soon as I stepped out of the building, I was wide awake. And I was just like, what? I was literally, sometimes I would like, think about should I just go back in there and finish my shift like it was obviously too late I already clocked out but it was just like dang I'm not even tired I mean I knew I was still exhausted but like I didn't feel tired literally as soon as I stepped out and I was just like what is going on whatever so then I would go home these bags under my eyes are just kind of like it's just because I've been kind of sleeping all day in and out and so it's just like a regular you know be a regular pup but when I tell you I had Louis Gucci Prada bags under my under my eyes, I am not lying to you. Like a functioning drug addict is what I felt like. And I've never done drugs, so I don't know what that feels like. But I imagine they felt like how I felt when I was working at Amazon. And, and then I had gotten, oh my God. And then I got in this accident. Oh my God. God. Okay, so I have to tell it a certain way because um, I just have to tell it a certain way. I'm coming back from work and on the freeway when you're coming back to where I live at, um, one of the lanes, like it's two lanes. So there's the freeway lane and then there's like an on-ramp lane and they just merge into one lane, whatever. I'm driving and here comes this 18 wheeler, okay? Coming onto the freeway, the truck, I feel like maybe he was sleeping or something. I don't know what the heck was the problem, but he started like, and I want to say creeping over because it really wasn't a creep. It was like, before I even realized it, I had already got like side swiped by this 18 wheeler. And I'm shook because I'm just like, it's 3 a.m. I'm tired or what was it? 4 a.m., 5 a.m.? I don't even know. Middle of the night. And something about South Carolina freeways, they don't believe in having lights on it. You know, most most highways and stuff have street lights. Yeah, South Carolina does not believe in that for some reason. So I'm just like, 
what the heck is what what just happened and then the truck just keeps going and so i went home because i was literally an exit away from home and i was just like what? so i go home and i'm hysterical i wake my mom up and i'm just like oh my god like i like i was driving and like this truck came and, like i'm just telling her story and she's just looking at me like what is going on what so i show her in the garage like well i showed her the car and she's like what are you talking about like it's something but then the light came on and she's like oh my god and she was so upset like i mean i know she was supposed to be upset because it was her car but it was just like dang like this is my first accident like i'm just like dang it felt like she was mad at me but i was just like well because she was like why didn't you stay at the scene why didn't you get the police i was like well because i it was middle of the night and i was scared and honestly most people's first car accident is you know a fender bender or something like that like a truck ran me over darn near so it's just like uh stop being mad at me right now because i'm still stressing about this whole thing like why are you upset like not why are you upset but just like can you just channel that energy into being like hey like are you okay like sh whatever so they basically like rule it as like a hit and run, which it was. And um, they pay for it and everything. Like we weren't at fault. But that thing was like $3,000 worth of damages. And I was just like, cause like you couldn't even open, you couldn't even open the passenger door all the way. Like it only like, so if this is the car, like the passenger door open, like open, open like that. It was, terrible and like I didn't even want to drive and my mom wasn't even gonna let me drive. like so sometimes like we need to get something from the grocery store or something like that but she don't feel like going like so she'll tell me oh can you go get this so I'll go do that she didn't offer me that for a good month and I was not mad because I was just like I'm not trying to get behind nobody's wheel at this point because these truckers are crazy and um yeah that's what happened that was the time that I worked at Amazon and all that crazy crap happened to me and Honestly, would I work there again? Me thinking back on like what I know about working there and then like working in the military and just being up for hours, you know, just for hours like on end and just being able to function, I would definitely be able to work there now like and not struggle as much as I was back then. Yeah, so that's my video today. And um, hopefully it's not as long as the time on my phone is saying that this part was hopefully i would have edited it down so where it's at least less than 15 minutes i don't know but make sure you like subscribe and comment and let me know different things i could make videos about um if there's any type of like just my people that i know like that i'm friends with who watch my videos if there's any stories or something that we had you know that you would like me to put out here on youtube like just let me know and i can share with the world you know what i'm saying this is labor day weekend and see this is what i'm doing on labor day weekend hopefully y'all have a barbecue to go to you know give me a couple plates um dumping a coleslaw on it first off who's having coleslaw and dumping a potato salad on it because i don't eat everybody's potato salad and i just and dumping the deviled eggs whatever i don't eat that that's nasty and anybody who likes deviled eggs you're psycho but anywho thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next video